Good afternoon, folks. I'm just doing a roundup of all the S24 Ultra specs that we know. As you know, all S24 series will be launching in one or two hours from now. So I'm just doing a roundup of all the specs that has come out of the S24 Ultra because I'm really looking forward for the phone. I have an S23 Ultra. Maybe I'll change to an S24 Ultra if the phone turns out to be as good as it claims. So basically, I'm just going to tell you everything we know about this flagship device from design, specs, features and price. The S24 Ultra is you know, the successor to the best-selling Galaxy phone of last year, that is the S23 Ultra. It comes with some upgrades and improvements. The first thing you'll notice is the titanium frame, which gives the phone a premium and durable feel. It will come with a 6.8-inch dynamic LTPO AMOLED 2X screen, which has a 2K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, and the peak brightness will be 2600 nits. If it comes at 2600 nits, it will be the brightest mainstream for a flagship phone as you know google pixel has around the same mark 2600 but that phone is not available widely and the chinese phone that goes up to 4500 nits or 5000 nits are not available in the us and uh, most of the market so this will be the most widely available brighter screen phone till maybe the iphone 16 may might equalize it or beat it this phone will have a titanium frame as everyone is expecting but the issue is nobody knows what will be the weight of this phone. More or less it's saying it will be the same around 233-234 grams. The iPhone 15 by using a titanium frame managed to reduce the weight of the phone by up to 20 grams. It was the worst handling phone till iPhone 14 series but with titanium it got around 20 grams lighter. Unfortunately Samsung will not be able to replicate it. But anyway the phone will be stronger. It will come with a Gorilla Victus Glass 3. It will support HDR10 Plus and always on display. It will be the only phone with the Victus 3. So nothing is known about it unless Samsung announces it. It will come with Qualcomm 8 Gen 3 chipset which is based on 4 nanometer processor. It is an octa-core processor and it has an Adreno 750 GPU. It will come with a standard 12 GB of RAM and 3 storage options 256, 512 and 1 terabyte. The phone does not support micro SD card as you know it's a premium phone. But it will have UFS 4.0 for fast data transfer. It comes with a quad camera setup on the back with a 200 megapixel main camera which is upgraded from last year's camera. A 50 megapixel periscope 5x camera which is a downgrade in terms of length from 10x to 5x but upgrade in terms of resolution from 10 megapixel to 50 megapixel. A 10 megapixel telephoto 3x camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. The main camera will have multi-direction PDAS, laser autofocus and OIS. It will be able to record videos at 8K at the rate of 24 or 30 frames per second and 4K will be done at 30, 60 and 120 frames per second. The periscope camera is at 5x zoom, the telephoto camera is at 3x zoom. With the periscope camera you will be able to do 8K 30 frames per second. The ultra wide is 120 degree field of view and has super steady video at 2.5K. The front facing camera has 12 megapixel dual pixel sensor which can also do 4K 30 or 60. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra will be the only phone in the world that can switch between all the four lenses of the back and front lens at 4K 60 recording. You don't have to stop it. Most of the phones you can do only switching between the back lenses. This one you can include the front lens as well. It comes with a 5000mAh battery which is a disappointment. As you know the S20 Ultra was the first phone with 5000mAh battery amongst the big phones and Samsung has kept it on for the last 3-4 years. While OnePlus used to have a smaller battery around 4 4,400. Now it's jumped up to 5,400. Honor reached 5,500. And they're giving faster charging as well. So this is very disappointing from Samsung. It supports 45 watt wired, 15 watt wireless and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging. Which is also a major disappointment. As you know, Chinese phones are giving more or less standard 100 watt or more than that. Their wireless charging is at 50 watts and their reverse wireless charging is 10 to 15 watts. So Samsung should really step it up for the S25 Ultra. It has a Ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, IP68 dust and water resistance, which will give you up to 1.5 meter resistance of 30 minutes, which is actually very poor, because iPhone is giving up to 6 to 9 meters, so Samsung should actually match it. It has a, a dual stereo speaker tuned by AKG and a stylus that supports Bluetooth, accelerometer and gyro. The phone runs on Android 14 with One UI 6.1. It has some AI features built in, such as a magic editor, which will allow you to edit videos and photos using generative algorithm ultra wide band it comes in four colors titanium black titanium gray titanium violet and titanium yellow the pricing is expected to be more or less similar to last year's phone which will be around 130000 for the base model in india 
the phone goes on sale on February 1st. It will be announced today in the next one or two hours. You can pre-order from Samsung's official website. You can try the AI features in seven cities in the world starting today once the phone gets launched. This is what the most of the thing about the phone is. I hope you like this video. I will try to come up with more such videos. Thank you for watching and 